Even before the 48th annual ACM Awards began, there were signs that it would be a big night for three buddies. On the red carpet, Jason Aldean was presented with the Vocal Collaboration Trophy for The Only Way I Know with pals Luke Bryan and Eric Church. Eric walking away with uh, with the album and us with male vocalist, Luke with entertainer. I mean, and then the three of us getting the award together. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he could draw it up any better. Luke Bryant. This is the defining moment of my life, and it means the world to me, and I will never take it for granted. I love you so much. To say that I'm shocked is, is uh, truly, you know, an understatement. Album of the year is... Chief Eric Church. If you had to pick one that, that I wanted, I mean, it's probably that one because that's what we based our career on before we ever got any nominations. It was about records. For me, I mean, I look back and, and think about all the people that have, you know, won that award before. To now have my name etched in, in with those guys is that's pretty special to me. Though Eric Church was the most nominated artist this year, the night belonged to Miranda Lambert, who walked off with a total of four trophies, including single and song of the year for Over You and her fourth win for the top female vocalist. Miranda Lambert. She joins Reba and Loretta Lynn for four or more wins in the category. On stage, she paid tribute to the female artists who inspired her. I just want to say really quickly that last night, um, a huge dream of mine came true. Faith Hill last night grabbed my arm. She was like, have you met Shania? And I was like, you can't introduce me. Like, I can't handle that. Like, this is, my head's going to pop off and just spin around in the air for a minute. And so it was just so surreal and so humbling to just get to meet those women that have inspired me so much. Thank you so much for this. Blake Shelton shared Song of the Year honors with his wife Miranda and seemed to thoroughly enjoy sharing hosting duties with first-time co-host Luke Bryan. We can't forget some of the biggest stars of all that are with us tonight, the folks from Duck Dynasty. Oh, yeah. Now, which one of them is Zach Brown? I think it turned out it was you awesome. You guys were great together. It, it was fun great. being up there with Blake. He, he is the best. Once again, the ACM split locations with the bulk of the show coming from the MGM, while another 8,000 fans packed the Orleans Casino for the Fan Jam portion of the show, including performances by Brad Paisley and John Mayer, Jewel, and all three top new artist nominees. In the end, it was Florida Georgia Line who picked up the most fan votes. Our fans are so amazing, we owe everything to them. Little Big Town yanked in a couple of awards for Video of the Year for Tornado and Vocal Group of the Year. us this moment. Thank and for the second year in a row, it was Thompson Square winning the Vocal Duo of the Year trophy. To come back and do this uh, a second year um, is nothing short of a, of a miracle for us. I mean, we just never thought, you know, this would ever happen to us. <laughs> With unique performances, including a rowdy collaboration between Hunter Hayes and Stevie Wonder, the spotlight was definitely on the stars, but the night truly was built around the fans. It is a blessing to me to play for fans. Thank you, country. Thank you, country radio. My wife and I look at each other all the time and go, how are we here? How is this happening? And, um, and it's, there's only one reason why it's happening, <laughs> fans. Baby, you can't crash.